Hello everyone. Today we will uh, discuss the topic which is HRC Fuse for Induction Motor Protection Scheme. So first we start the lecture before uh, we will introduce some points regarding fuses. So the our first point is basically what is fuse and what is the different types of fuses we will use in our system. So basically we can say that the fuse is a current interrupting device which breaks or opens the circuit which it is inserted by fusing the element when the current in the circuit exceeds or greater than the predetermined value of the current. Basically fuse in its simplest form we will say that it is a small piece of thin metal wire or strip connected in between two terminals mounted on an insulated base and forms the weakest link in series with the circuit basically we will use the fuse because the fuse is the cheapest simplest and oldest protective device which is used as current interrupting device under overload condition or short circuit condition we will also say that about the fuse that is the fuse being a thermal device which possesses inverse time current characteristics this type of characteristics that means the operating time decreases as the fault current increases. They are basically relatively economical as compared to other protective devices because it do not require any relays or instrument transformers and uh, after all they are reliable. So this is the basic uh, some concepts of fuses. So now next one is our key what is the type of fuses. So, uh, following are the basically two main types of fuse that is first one is rewirable type of fuse so why we will use uh, the term which is rewirable so this type of fuse is rewirable that means the blown out fuse element can be replaced by a new one so now here new term we will introduce that is fuse element so first i will clear what is fuse element basically fuse element is nothing it is a fuse wire it is that part of the fuse which melts when the current flowing in the circuit exceeds a certain predetermined value and thus breaks the circuit. So in, in type of rewirable type, the blown out fuse element can be replaced by a new one. So the fuse element can be either open or semi enclosed. So according to this, therefore this type of fuse is further of two types that is first one is open type and another one is semi enclosed type under the rewirable type of fuse. So next uh, one is totally enclosed or cartridge type fuse. So this type of fuse uh, means the fuse element of this type of fuse is enclosed in a totally enclosed container and is provided with metal contacts on both sides. So this type of fuse is also of two types that is D type cartridge and link type cartridge fuse the link type cartridge fuse is also known as hrc fuse that means high rupturing capacity fuse and this topic we will today discuss here so now quickly move to the hrc fuse basically what is hrc fuse the hrc fuse that means high rupturing capacity cartridge fuse so when large concentration of power are concerned as in the modern power distribution system, it is essential that fuses should have a definite known braking capacity and also this braking capacity should have a high value. So high rupturing capacity cartridge fuse commonly have been designed and developed after intensive research by manufacturers and supply engineers in this direction to provide the high braking capacity and high operating time so the hrc fuse basically cope with increasing rupturing capacity on the distribution system and overcome the serious disadvantages offered yeah suffered by the semi closed rewirable fuses in this type of fuse the fuse element surrounded by an inert arc quenching medium is completely enclosed in an outer body of ceramic material having good mechanical strength the unit in which the fuse element is in enclosed is called fuse link that means the outer body of a fuse element this outer body of this fuse is usually of a straightite that is a ceramic material having good mechanical strength 
epoxy resins have been recently introduced and are replacing the ceramic material in present scenario the fuse element are connected or introduce to two end caps of brass or copper inside the body the sorry the metal end of uh, the metal end caps are screwed to the ceramic body by means of specific screws to withstand the pressure developed under short circuit condition in the context of this fuse are welded this is the end contact this is called uh, we can say that fuse link contact these end contacts are welded to the metal end caps the space between the fuse element and cartridge is filled with the filled powder which is basically used here pure card's powder the property of pure card power powder is that which acts as an arc extinguishing agent in hrc fuse here quartz powder avoids oxidation of silver element and quartz sand is used as a filter because it can absorb heat at a very high rate and it does not involve appreciable amount of gas so this is the construction of this hrc fuse we will see here the uh, inside the hrc fuse we will use the filling powder which is pure quartz so now we will see the uh, hrc fuse action so the action is that when the fuse carries normal rated current the heat energy generated is not sufficient to melt the fuse element but when a fault occurs that means when a short circuit occurs overload occurs in our device the fuse element melts before the fault current or short circuit current reaches its first peak value as the element melts it vaporizes and disperses during the arcing period the chemical reaction between the metal vapor and quartz powder forms a high resistance substance which helps in quenching the arc and when the arc is quenched the current is interrupted which is flow through during the or due to the short circuit or overload fault in our device so this is the basic hrc fuse working condition so now next one my most important thing is what is characteristics of hrc fuse so there are several characteristics of hrc hrc fuse here we will listed some listed here the cut off current characteristics that means when an hrc fuse interrupts a heavy fault current which exhibits an ability to limit the short circuit current this ability is known as a cut off the cut off property has a great advantage that the short circuit current does not attain the prospective current hence the circuit is not subjected to electrodynamic stresses corresponding to peak prospective current here in this figure we will see that the current um, cut off characteristics and recovery voltage of an hrc fuse the cut off action is explained like this on occurrence of fault heavy fault current starts flowing through the fuse current we will see in diagram that there the uh, fault current is heavy flow through the fuse element and the silver fuse element starts melting at one or more points depending upon the design of the fuse on the blowing out of fuse element an arc is formed between the two ends and a transient current is superimposed in the prospective current this is basically prospective current we will show in dotted line and the this current is superimposed with this prospective current when the sum of transient current and prospective current this is the transient current and this one is dotted line is prospective current so when the sum of transient current and prospective current is zero that means the arc is quenched we will see here the the cut off and occurrence of restricting voltage in case of an rc fuse is shown in this figure the arc voltage at the start may be several times the supply voltage depending upon the length and cross section of the fuse we will see that this is the voltage diagram in this diagram we will see that the arc voltage at the starting time it is a peak arc voltage which shown in this arrow which is depending upon the length and cross section of the fuse so this is the basically cut off current characteristics of the hrc fuse 
नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज फास्ट ऑपरेशन फास्ट ऑपरेशन दैट मीन्स वेन द एच आर सी फ्यूज इंटरप्ट द शॉर्ट सर्किट करेंट लॉन्ग बिफोर इट अटेंज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर सो वी विल सी वी विल से दैट द एच आर सी फ्यूज इज ऑपरेटेड एज 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 फास्ट एज पॉसिबल एज कंपेयर टू द सर्किट ब्रेकर सो इट इट इज बेसिकली इंटरप्टेड द शॉर्ट सर्किट करेंट विद इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ अ साइकिल सो नेक्स्ट वन इज टाइम क्रैंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो टाइम क्रैंड करेक्टरिस्टिक दैट मीन्स द चार सी फ्यूज बेसिकली फॉलो द इनवर्स टाइम करेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट मीन्स द ऑपरेटिंग टाइम ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ फ्यूज इज डिक्रीजेज एज द फॉल्ट करेंट इज इनक्रीजेज सो ड्यू टू दिस द दिस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स मेक्स दिस फ्यूज एज ऑपरेटेड एज मच एज क्विकर बिकॉज वेन द फॉल्ट इज इनक्रीजेज इट्स ऑपरेटिंग टाइम इज रिड्यूसेज सो इट ऑपरेटेड इन फास्ट ऑपरेशन सो नेक्स्ट वन इज नॉन डिटेरिटिंग करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एज द एच आर सी फ्यूज आर कॉल्ड अपॉन टू फंक्शन ओनली वंस इन अ वाइल द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ देयर करेक्टरिस्टिक्स थ्रू आउट देयर यूजफुल लाइफ इज मोस्ट इजेंशियल दिस ऑल्सो मीन्स दैट कि दे शुड नॉट ऑपरेट इन वेन कैरिंग नॉर्मल लोड करेंट्स एज हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ रिवाइरेबल फ्यूजेज ड्यू टू ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एंड बेसिकली दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एच आर सी फ्यूजेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई थिंक इट इज अचीव्ड बाय द हेरमेटिक सीलिंग ऑफ द सिल्वर एलिमेंट विद इन द फ्यूज बॉडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पेशल सीमेंटिंग एंड द सोल्जरिंग ऑफ द इंड कैप्स नाउ नेक्स्ट क्रैक्टिस लो टेम्परेचर ऑपरेशन दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नेसेसरी सो एज टू सो एज टू एवॉइड द फ्यूजेज एंड प्रिवेंट ओवर हीटिंग ऑफ एसोसिएटेड कॉन्टैक्ट्स दिस इज अचीव्ड इन एच आर सी फ्यूजेज बाई यूजिंग फेब्रिकेटेड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ प्योर सिल्वर स्पेशली डिजाइन टू गिव ए लो टेम्परेचर राइज वाइल कैरिंग देयर नॉर्मल लोड करेंट नेक्स्ट वन इज आर्क वोल्टेज वी यू ऑल नो दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वोल्टेज इज इंड्यूस ड्यू टू इंटरप्शन ऑफ इंडक्टिव सर्किट बेसिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्किट विच इज टू बी इंटरप्टेड एंड वी वी से दैट द बेसिकली करेंट इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी नीड टू केयरफुल डिजाइन ऑफ एच आर सी फ्यूज कंट्रोल्स दिज ओवर वोल्टेज एंड किप्स दैम विद इन द सेफ लिमिट्स नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज रपचरिंग कैपेसिटी दिस इज द वेरी गुड एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ फ्यूज द रपचरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ फ्यूज इज एक्सप्रेस बेसिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम वी ए एंड इट इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सर्विस वोल्टेज दैट इज इन के वी एंड द आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रोस्पेक्टिव करेंट दैट इज इन किलो एम्पेयर विच इट कैन हैंडल so i think it is very important to realize that a fuse is never called upon to carry a current equal to its rupturing capacity when it is specified that it will successfully operate in a circuit having prospective current equal to said value but the fuse metals much earlier due to cut off action thus a fuse never allow to pass a current equal to its specified rupturing capacity so next one is low cost low cost that means because the cut off characteristics of the hrc fuse for the given rupturing capacity the actual current to be interrupted by an hrc fuse is much less in comparison to other interrupting devices so now quickly we move to the next that is the what is basic advantage and disadvantages so advantage is uh, there is uh, highly advantages uh, device which is hrc fuse so some are listed here basically they are cheap as compared with other types of circuit in terms of same breaking capacity simple and easy installation uh, it, its installation process is very easy and simple so this is the advantage for uh, as compared to other type of devices less maintenance or we can say that the no maintenance is required for this type of fuses uh, its breaking capacity uh, is very high so earlier i am discussing in characteristics section the breaking capacity or rupturing capacity is very high so its performance in cons- consistently performed very well its operation is quick and sure it also i discuss in uh, characteristic section that is fast operation because it's uh, interrupted the short circuit current within the first quarter of a circle or uh, second thing is that it is basically inverse time current characteristic that makes the operation is quick and sure 
they have inverse time characteristic that uh, uh, earlier i have discussed here because uh, due to overload protection or during the overload protection we need the inverse time characteristics relay or fuse which provides the lesser operating time when the fault is greater so they are capable of clearing high as well as low current they are quite reliable and can be selected for proper discrimination current limitations by cut off property that means during saver fault an hrc fuse breaks the circuit before the peak of the prospective fault current is reached thus protecting the equipment against maximum thermal and dynamic stresses here uh, advantages but uh, there are some advantages uh, sorry disadvantages or we can say that basically hrc fuses suffer from the following types of disadvantages the disadvantage like that the time is lost in replacing fuse after each operation because there is no maintenance is required so we will when the fuse is operated then we need to change the fuse or replace the fuse this is the disadvantage because we lost more time to replacing the fuse after each operation of hrc fuse interlocking is not possible in this this type of fuse and the major disadvantage is that it produces an overheating of adjacent contacts one major advantage of this type of relay is discrimination so discrimination means the breaking of the faulty section of the line to an extent restricted to minimum healthy section of the circuits remaining in operation that means that means uh, we will say that or we elaborate this this things that like that when more than one protective device like two or more fuses a fuse and a circuit breaker like this type of combination that means when more than one protective device is used in series it is necessary to have discrimination between these protective devices on occurrence of a fault discrimination is concerned with correct operation of correct device and during the correct time it means the coordination between the fuses and the other protective device or devices should be such that the only the necessary device is operate under under the remaining unaffected so in case of an hrc fuse it is found that the time of operation is inversely proportional to the prospective short circuit current so due to this over a much wider range of fault condition and within practical limits while the values of prospective short circuit current increases the time of operation will be decreases as earlier i said in this section the sorry it is a time current characteristics that means it is inversely time current characteristics so we move further quickly uh, what is application of hrc fuses so the application is that protection of low voltage protection of low voltage distribution system against overloads and short circuits and another application is basically protection of cables protection of bus bars motors semiconductor devices and it's also provide the backup protection to the circuit breakers so now thank you but uh, the conclusion of this is that the hrc fuse is basically huge because it is very simple and the most important thing is that it operation is quite fast as compared to other protective devices so it is basically a basic type of hrc fuse Uh, further this hrc fuse divided in different categories like that high capacity hrc cartridge bridge hrc fuse with tripping devices uh, high voltage hrc fuses so there are the different category of this hrc fuse uh, which we will discuss uh, in other lectures but the operating principle the advantage this advantage is same like that so thank you very much